episode 18 has been watched and we posted this meme. I love Amelia and oh, 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 oh. When the reaction video comes out, it's going to be so spicy. The video hasn't dropped yet. It will in about 12 hours since the moment of this record, but there's a lot of comments. There's a lot of takes that I want to farm. First up, Mr. Taiyu 124 Emu. What the fuck kind of name is this? W Subaru. L for those who are hating Subaru for rejection. Smiley face. That smiley face is so, so snarky. You know what you're doing, but hey, I don't disagree with you. This is a guy with Rem's profile picture, I think. Is this not Rem's profile picture? Hold up. I'm not sure if this is Rem, but it kind of looks like Rem. But think about the logic here, right? Ah, shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back. Think about the logic here, right? I think that Subaru rejecting Rem at that moment is perfectly fine. Just because Rem, again, shows that much affection and devotion and unlimited, un... Just like, it's, it, she's always going to glaze. Doesn't mean that she's entitled to Subaru's love. Love is an indescribable thing. You cannot just expect the other party to love you based on what you have done. That's perfectly fine, right? It's just the fact that he said, I love Amelia as soon as Rem said, I love you. That part was just so shocking. And I'm like, oh my fucking God. Oh my God. How could you have picked this moment to let her down? But hey, I'd rather him be honest than lead her on. Let's see the replies. Lara says, true. They forgot that Rem rejected him first. Rejected him first. Was there a moment when Rem... Subaru asked Rem out? Or is it more of Arc 2 stuff when Rem was being hostile towards Subaru because he seems suspicious? Subaru the GOAT? Even though Subaru actually doesn't reject Rem yet, I'm not sure what you're really talking about, but I'm gonna assume it's the Arc 2 stuff. Rejected his proposal to run away. Oh. Well, even if... I, I don't think that proposal to run away really rejection really makes sense. Because think about this, like Rem rejecting the proposal to run away doesn't matter because it's not about the rejection. It's the fact that she even thought about a different life with Subaru. She thought about such a detailed way about how they would run off to Kararaki, how they would fall in love, how they would get different jobs and support each other even though it's hard and have kids, right? She went into such deep analysis of that. That doesn't mean that Subaru, like... S Rem rejecting Subaru off of that proposal isn't the defining factor or like a significant thing to Subaru rejecting Rem, in my opinion. I mean, Subaru clearly stated and showed who he really loves to begin with. This is absolutely true. It's always been Emilia, EMT. That's why I'm confused why everyone hating on him just because he didn't pick Rem. See, this is the interesting part, and I think it has to do with a bunch of people cherry picking um, Subaru's character. So a lot of people say, this character doesn't deserve anything. Subaru fucked up. All he did was shit his pants and mess up. And then suddenly you just have this waifu that will be there no matter what to help you up. And even if you dispose of the blue girl waifu who's there unconditionally and chase after a different girl, she will be there to help. That's what's pissing people off. Because this seems like a power fantasy. An incel power fantasy, right? But they are cherry picking this without really considering what Subaru has done. I think he deserves Rem. I think that his actions of Arc 2, if you genuinely watched Arc 2 like we did, you would see that Subaru went out of his way to save everybody, to show how heroic he is. Rem's perception of Subaru is distorted into a way that she thinks that he's her hero, right? And we saw that. We saw that idealized Subaru in action. And just because in Arc 3 that he was fucking up, it's totally fine to fuck up, right? To have an emotional support there that saw your heroics of the last arc and is there and supports and root for you. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. But what does kind of piss me off is how Rem now is content with Subaru chasing after Amelia. She just laughs it off and says, Oh man, you're so cheeky, Subaru. You just rejected a girl and you're asking her to chase, you know, help you pursue another girl. Okay, fine. And I'm like, oh, Rem, what about your happiness? But then again, who am I to interject? Like, who am I to insert myself on behalf of Rem and act offended? It's just, I feel like most people in that situation would want closure. They want something for themselves. But if Rem's ultimate happiness is Subaru's happiness of getting with Amelia, there's not much we can say about that. It's just pathetic 
for me, but then again, who am I to judge, right? For me, it's not how he rejected her. It's about how he chose Rem to make life better, avoiding what shit going on and abandon the girl he liked if Rem did not preach. This motherfucker then proceeded with I Love Amelia, ready to abandon cause of trauma and depression. I think there's a little bit of an English comprehension uh, language barrier here that I'm not really understanding. It's not how he rejected her. It's how he chose Rem to make life better. He chose Rem to make life better, avoiding any shit going on abandoning the girl, as in like the running away part. I think that's perfectly fine. I guess it's like the fact that he asked Rem to run away together, but then after Rem rejects you on that, it's about how he treats Rem saying, I love Amelia, even though you literally said you would run away together. See, I think that even if you ran away together, Rem, uh, Super would, would never really feel that way until later on. At that moment, when he proposed to run away together, that's out of desperation. It's not, he's not just going to leave Rem behind. It's not saying, let's go on a romantic getaway. No, I do not perceive Subaru's request to run away as a romantic getaway. It's to run away from the problems right now together because she's obviously a nice support. Urahara says, at least Subaru's honest, but I still bat for Rem. This part, man. This is it. This is it. This literally just accurately represents how I'm feeling. Subaru is honest. It's way better that he was honest about this instead of leading her on, but I still feel terrible for Rem, man. I mean, Rem literally killed him because she lacked trust on him, so I can understand Subaru. No, this is such a disingenuous take. Episode 7, we saw Rem torture Subaru. Roswell didn't even order her to do it, apparently. She did it of her own volition. Why? Because Subaru is extremely suspicious. He reeks of the witch's miasma, which, 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 which is correlated to the witch's cult that murdered, you know, the Oni clan. Rem had all the rights to be suspicious and act hostile towards Subaru. To torture is a little bit overboard. But this is such a disingenuous take because people like this forget what Rem did for Subaru afterwards. What did Rem do? Rem literally went out of her way to kill all the fucking witch fiend in the forest at the cost of her own life. Because if that wasn't the case, Subaru's curse would be activated and he would die. Rem went Rem completely. I think that already just negates the torture shit. Of course it's terrible in episode 7. But Rem is offering her life to protect Subaru. And Subaru literally gets so emotionally impacted by that. The fact that Rem is out there. He chooses to go out there help. And then after all that shit, we have an amazing moment with Rem and Subaru. Of him accepting Rem for who she is. You know, justifying her reason to exist. You should look for the next day rather than trying to feel like you're atoning for your sins. And Rem was infatuated by that. Subaru is her hero. And then in arc 3, right? Think about what Rem does for Subaru after then. There is so many times when Subaru is just being so shitty, as he should be. I understand the whole point of why he's being an asshole. But Rem was there helping out all the way through. Even the white whale. She fucking jumped out of the carriage and then sacrificed herself and got forgotten. Better Goose episode. Rem literally got fucked up. She states that Subaru is her reasons to die. After getting twisted by the unseen hand, crawls to Subaru to free him and says, I love you. Are you really gonna sit here and cherry pick? Are you really gonna cherry pick on that one fucking episode where the torture honestly could be justified and neglect everything else? No. I think this is one of the dumbest fucking takes. You're cherry picking all the negatives and completely ignore everything else that makes this argument baseless. You know I'm right. If I'm wrong, then fucking prove it with words than rather than personal insults. It's not that, he says. He even states multiple times that he loves her. Loves who? Rem? It's just not as strong as his love for Amelia. Agreed. There's different degrees of love. But I think that the love for Amelia is so strong. He's always been for Amelia, right? Rem, I don't think there's really any romantic intent, man. I don't think there's romantic intent. The same way that Amelia perceives Subaru, like a fucking dog, like a pet, like a child. I think that Subaru perceives Rem in not a romantic way. Amelia is the one who saved him in the first run. The one who was there for him when he was alone and had no one else. True, the first episode. 
And he seems to have a preference for the way she looks. Absolutely. Of course, right? When he first saw her, he gushed because it was a fucking elf that he probably jacked off to multiple times in his real life because he loves the elf tag. It doesn't mean he doesn't love Remdum. I agree. This whole comment, very based. I agree with the logic here. Victor. <laughs> e. M. T. E. Fuck you. God damn it. EMT is so cringe, but motherfuckers are literally saying this cringe line now to like, I don't know, on behalf of like the Amelia Subaru ship. God damn it. I hate it, but it is a thing. Dub Subaru. I love Amelia. Hey, bro is sticking to his chosen visual novel. <laughs> I think he's saying like Amelia was like the first girl that he chose. If you're treating the Reezer as a visual novel, right? So like, yeah, yeah. I love Amelia. Amelia clears. Victory EMT Peak Subaru Fuck Subaru but I still love him What an interesting comment Fuck Subaru but I still love him I guess Fuck Subaru because of the Shitty behavior that he's shown us All the way up until now in Act 3 But we know he's better And we understand that he can be better So yes Fuck Subaru when he's being annoying But he can be better Giga Chat Subaru. Rem says Aishteru in her confession? Okay, so what though? So what if Rem says I love you in a more affectionate way than Skidas? I don't think any of my logic is wrong so far. Dub loyalty on Subaru. I mean, he is being loyal. Goat Baru. Just laughing. Subaru, Subaru. That's a lot of Subaru glazers here, huh? Also, Amelia never brutally murdered in the mansion. Again, you're cherry picking. I still think... That the argument that Rem tortures Subaru in episode 7 and then completely neglecting all the different things that happened between them is such a disingenuous way of approaching this conversation. You're fucking cherry picking. I know that was a different iteration, but it still happened. Yeah, and you know what? A bunch of other shit happened that pretty much negates this. Not saying that's why he chose Amelia instead, because he's strong, right? He's long stated that she, uh, she was the loved one uh, he loved to begin with. Just something to keep in mind. No, I know this, but again, I think everyone coming in with this talking point is completely forgetting all the shit Rem does after episode 7. And I even think that the torture is like 70-80% warranted. Did she go overboard? Yes, but the reasons are there. If you're watching the episode in a genuine way, you can't possibly come with this argument unless you're fucking trolling. EMT enjoyer, fate of every blue-haired waifu. Okay, why is this the case? Why is every blue-haired waifu getting cucked in anime? There is a pattern of behavior here, man. Absolutely the right choice. Also, I have no clue who the fuck the person- Okay, just rem joke. Shut the fuck up, cringe. I'm on super side this one. EMT for the win. I was genuinely tweaking when he said that at first. Base Subaru, but would have been more bad. <laughs> hey! USR- Honestly? Why are we dual wielding here? Why are we not dual wielding? Subaru could have a heart. <laughs> he could make everybody happy. <laughs> but yeah, he, he, you know, we, 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 we eat told you here. We don't do need told you here. Subaru doing rem dirty for a girl who don't even count him. <laughs> True. True. No. You don't even have to say JK, by the way. You're absolutely correct. Amelia does not even see Subaru as a man right now in episode 18 of season 1. All the interactions is literally a pet and her master. A pet or like a little child. In memory of snow, Amelia literally had to round up Subaru's age to 13 from 12 because of how immature he seemed. Like, let's not get it twisted. Let's not get it twisted, right? This is absolutely true. Dub Barusu. The little girl user. What do you mean by that, huh? What do you mean the little girl user? Is Rem a little girl? I don't really think so. What do you mean by that? Localize is trying to replace Lolly Mancer as if little girl user sounds any better. I, I like Lolly Mancer way better than little. Little girl user sounds fucking weird. Little girl user is a little bit too, like, descriptive. Lolly Mancer is filled with jargon and gaming lingo that makes it kind of funny, I guess. What are you guys talking about? How the fuck did this come? How are you literally? <laughs> how? Wh what compelled you to even comment? Whatever. 
Orewa Emilia got okay, just I I love Emilia. Very relevant meme to this day. I love Emilia. I presume you've already seen that episode. Yes. The YouTube uploads are late. Early access on Patreon. That's fine. We can keep Rem for ourselves. Berg Katze 3186. I don't know what to tell you, bro, but Rem is a moving 2D JPEG on a screen. Rem doesn't exist. Like, not even saying who's Rem, because this guy is just trolling, but Rem does not exist. <laughs> you cannot do anything with Rem. After literally proposed to Rem, and then she confessed her feelings to say that line is evil. Listen, I know what you mean, right? It's the proposal, the I love you into I love Amelia combo that just pushes people to the madness, right? It's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. But would you rather he lead, like, you know, lead her on? Would you rather that he act like this is happening but later cuck her? Or maybe there's a better way to say I love Amelia. To say it at a different time, right? There's a time and place for everything. Maybe he could have let Rem cook a while, and then he, Subaru could have said, let me have some time to think about it, and then say, I love Amelia. Sure, it's tone deaf, but think about this. Think about this for a second. In a real life scenario, it's tone deaf. But in terms of having an anime episode, an iconic moment to have a shock, this needs to happen. I love Amelia happening as soon as Rem says, I love you, is the smartest thing that the author can do to elicit the most amount of emotional reaction. It doesn't matter if there was a better way to say it. In terms of the content, in terms of having like an iconic, impactful moment, that's why it happened. Like, like, take yourself out of the immersion of the story and think of it from the author's perspective of having an episode just be so impactful. Do you think that Subaru saying I love Amelia later on is better than saying I love Amelia at that moment? No, in terms of the content strategy, that is brilliant. But it comes off tone deaf. It comes off so fucking mean, right? It's understandable why Subaru got so much hate for that. I didn't hate him, by the way. Just couldn't understand his thought process, but at least he was honest. Whenever you think about trying to think the thought process of characters, sometimes step back and realize that these are characters written by an author. And think about from the perspective of an author trying to maximize virality, right? It's in their best interest to have a moment like this. Bro been simping for Amelia since his first loop, days before meeting Rem. He already fell in love with Amelia. True. So if he chose Rem during this period, where he was upset with Amelia, imagine how much of a bitch that would make him. If he chose Rem during this period, when he's upset with Amelia. Amelia is the only girl Subaru is infatuated with, but he likes so many other girls. I, I, I kind of get that. I'm very aware of the whole situation. Just saying that he was very rude. Yeah, no, for sure, right? That he's... Garrison is correct. Saying I love Re Amelia at that point is fucked up. But again, for the sake of content, it makes sense, right? The way he did, and even worse, Amelia after asking her to help him and save Amelia. Yeah, and then like, and then the Rem, and then Rem just like glossing over and saying like, yeah, you know, it's it, you have the balls. Wow, so cheeky, super. You just rejected a girl. And you're gonna ask that girl to help uh, pursue another girl, right? Not even mentioning the rest of the friends. Not even Ram. The way he did make me think it was his last try to give up. So he made it really hard on Rem to accept it, but he still did. You, oh, this is interesting. I never thought about like this. The way he did made me think it was his last try to give up. So we're weaponizing sympathy and pity right now. Do you get this? Subaru is on his last stand. Rem knows this. And Subaru telling Rem this in this position, Rem cannot deny because he's so fucked up, right? It's like emotional manipulation subconsciously. Hmm. Hmm. So now, the headcanon is, rather than Rem accepting Subaru's wish to pursue Amelia because she's fine with being a cut queen, Rem reluctantly accepted because Subaru forced this position on her when Subaru was at his lowest. Hmm. I like this line of thinking. Whether or not it's true or not, I don't care. Right? I, I don't care if this is something you agree with or not. It's just a different way of thinking that I never thought about. I enjoy this. <laughs> I don't know. 
But thank you for opening my mind to that perspective. Who is the... Ah, shut the fuck up, cringe. Amelia Rem? Eh, I think Ram is better in both. Yes. Come on. Early access Patreon. How the fuck do you still not know that the shit you get on YouTube is like a day or two late, dumbass? Fun fact. Back in the days, this episode's... Yeah. Mate team... Team Amelia would still exist. By the way, I'm still... Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, whatever. Just talk about different fucking girls, you fucking retard. Uh, it just like that, best girls always lose for some reason. Well, you only think that Rem is best girl right now because Rem's gotten more highlights, right? But is Rem really best girl? I don't know, man. I think a lot of people have different opinions about that. El Subaru. Oh. We have someone not glazing Subaru. Let's click the replies. Most people here are actually on Subaru's side. Vast amount of people here are on EMT. They say fuck Rem. But finally, someone on, you know, on Rem's side are saying El Subaru. Let's see it. Dub Subaru. Bro is honest with himself, true, and Rem about his feelings, but that doesn't mean he doesn't love Rem. The anime just delivers scene a bit badly. Well, I don't think that the love here is romantic, right? I do not think that Subaru is romantically engaged with Rem the same way he's romantically engaged with Amelia. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but based on the episodes that I've seen, nothing suggests that Subaru is romantically engaged to Rem like that. It's honestly, again, just like this... Un it's just like a one-sided love from Rem to Subaru, and then Subaru to, you know, fucking... R Emilio. Hey, there's that Garusan guy! We literally just talked about your comment. Yeah, he's honest. I know he loves both of them. I was just playing into... Okay, shut the fuck up then. This guy doesn't actually have any. Why is Rudy getting shit in here? Hold up, hold up. Yeah, I much prefer Subaru way of dealing with relationships compared to someone like Rudy. It's not gonna lie. This is Rudy's his trash care. <laughs> Muchoku Tensei is just always like living rent free. Like motherfuckers will just bring them up and shit on Rudy out of nowhere. <laughs> Dope Subaru. And that's pretty much the comments for um, this community post. But just remember, this is just the beginning of the waifu wars, right? Episode 18 has not dropped yet. Right? Episode 18 has not dropped it. Episode 18 will drop in about 12 hours after this episode, you know, fucking... Well, this video will also be uploaded after episode 18, but just remember, you can always go to Patreon, right? You can seek for all the different content that's already been uploaded. And yes, we've already seen episode 18. And right now, literally, just fucking... We're literally just waiting. We're literally... Like, there's a lot of angry comments in here, too. There's a lot of angry motherfuckers. So there's a lot of stuff to farm. But this is the uh, pre-game, right? This is the uh, <laughs> the warm-up. Just getting into just the tip of the iceberg. I cannot wait to just cook the fucking comments of people waging war as they want their 2D waifu to win to get the affection of a fucking main character that they're self-inserting themselves into. But hey... That's it from me. See you next time.